If you're buying a home in Arizona, you don't want to miss this video because we are going to talk all about the BINZER. BINZER is an acronym for Buyer Inspection Notice and Seller Response, and it's one of the most important documents in your home buying process. It's completed once you've investigated everything about the house you want to look into and all inspections have been completed. This document gives you three options. Number one, accept the house as is with no repairs and move forward with the sale. Number two, provide the seller with items you found to be unsatisfactory and cancel the contract. Your earnest money will be returned and you can keep looking for another home. Number three, provide the seller an opportunity to correct items by repairing or replacing them. This is the most common outcome. When you submit repair requests, the seller also has three options. Number one, they can approve everything. Number two, they can decline all the requests or number three, they can agree to just some of the items or they can offer a credit in lieu of repairs. It is very important how you approach the Binzer requests. I have a few tips to ensure you get the best response from the seller. First off, don't ask for every single listed thing on the inspection report. You may feel like you wanna do this, but I do not recommend this strategy because it oftentimes backfires. The seller often gets overwhelmed or offended, so they end up saying no to everything. If the seller does not approve of your repair request, you do have the option to cancel the contract and get your earnest money returned. It's a good rule of thumb to not ask for the small repairs, like if the sink is missing a stopper. You could literally buy that piece for a few dollars at Home Depot. I recommend you focus on the bigger concerns that are really important to you. These should be items that are expensive to fix or would be a pain in the butt for you to do yourself. It's also not a common practice to ask for something to be repaired or replaced that's not actually broken. For example, just because an AC unit is old doesn't mean you should ask for a new unit to be installed if the current unit is working properly. Sometimes inexperienced agents will ask for a credit for larger items on the Binzer, but it's important to note that this is not how the document was designed. The Binzer is supposed to be used to ask for actual repairs, not a credit. The seller has the option to offer a credit so they don't have to go through the hassle of fixing anything, but the buyer is not to use the document to ask for the credit. If a seller does opt to go this route, the credit is given towards the buyer's closing costs. So instead of taking the money out of your bank account to use for closing costs, you'd keep that money in there to use for the repairs after closing. If the credit is more than the buyer's closing costs, the buyer cannot receive a refund at closing so the additional funds must go towards a price reduction. My final tip is to hire your inspector for a second inspection to check all the repairs the sellers agreed to do. It can be difficult to check some items yourself at the final walkthrough, like roof repairs or complicated electrical issues. There is so much that goes into the Binzer process. You'll definitely want to make sure your agent is walking you through each step. If you have any questions about buying a house in Arizona, you can reach out to me anytime to learn more about me and the team, visit us online at theforkenbrockgroup.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download our free buyer guide.